What's going on everybody? It's Nornrad2 Turbo back with another Indiegogo unboxing. And this time this is from Nine Live Comics, which is Shane Davis and Yanzi Lin. So let's see what we got today. There we go. Check this out. It is Inglorious Rex. Ooh, nice signature right up there, Shane Davis. Thank you very much. And this is the Kenneth Rocafort variant cover. Uh, there's no text or anything. There's a little bit of text back here on the TV screen for Rex, but yeah, this is the Kenneth Rocafort version. I'm not sure what this Rex's name is though. It's the anatomic one though, but. Yeah, this looks gorgeous. Of course, Kenneth does everything himself. He does the pencils, the inks, the colors. And yeah, this thing really pops. Glad I got this one. Nice signature too. Look at all these goodies though. Lots of goodies in here, lots of cards. That's the cool thing I, I like about uh, doing unboxing videos is seeing all the extras that you get with it, not just the comic book itself, but there's so many extras. There's tons in here. Okay, let's start with the cards first. Oh, these are rad. They look like, uh, they're done like the Marvel cards, the Series 2 Marvel cards, and I'm pretty sure the um, Starlight Cats cards are like this as well. A lot of great artists on these. Oh, there he is, Sumo Shane. <laughs> This was a meme going on on this channel for a while. Uh, they got him to dress up like uh, E-Honda or Street Fighter. Gosh, that was a funny stream. Shane's streams are actually really funny. Yeah, this is done by Matt Barr. Oh, that's so rad. Oh, this is really cute. This is from Starlight Cats. This is Rebecca with, I think, Salty and Barnaby. This is done by Anna, that Star Wars girl. Oh wow, this is far out. Anatomic card. Gosh, a lot of energy on there. This is done by Rini Draws, Irene Stuklowski. Alex Stone. Oh, the lenticular card. This is rad. Let's see if we can get that crown to appear. That's cool. And I think I got this for signing up. Heavy is the crown. I love lenticular cards. I used to have a a set of football cards that were all lenticular from the 70s, man. Very cool. I love this stuff. Great cards, man. I'm a big card fan also, so I got tons of Comic Skate cards, so these will go right in the folder with them next to the Starlight Cats cards. Let's see what else we got. What is this? This is an Inglorious Rex sticker. Oh, nice. This is very well made, too. You might put this on your card. It's going to last. Oh, this is cute. This is a uh, pterodactyl sticker. This is what they're calling their uh, their new baby, or I guess she's a year old now, but uh, little Terry, pterodactyl, that's really cute. Nine Lives Comics, excellent. Oh, this is a magnet, okay, okay. These are all the magnets. I'm not a potato, I'm a real boy. This is done by Michael Bancroft, that's like a meme. A Shane meme also. <laughs> no way, and this is the Kenneth Rocafort, the Rex magnet. Oh yeah, all three of these are magnets. These are going right on the fridge, how cool. It's a good idea to put magnets in there also because they're they're very thin and they're easy to ship and chances are you're going to see them every day you're not going to keep them with the comic itself you're going to actually you know put them on the fridge and look at them it's good advertising too so let's take a peek inside just to check out some of the art to see what this is like back of it. This is a nice matte finish. Perfect bound. Let's flip to a random page. I don't want any spoilers getting out. Yeah, Shane Davis is like a, <laughs> he's a master dude. It's like the detail on this is insane. The level of quality. Oh, I can't wait to read this. 
Oh yeah, there's one of the promo images. He showed this page off quite a bit. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Great colors. The paper stock looks really good too. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna actually go and read it and then I'll be right back to tell everybody what I thought of the story. Just kind of give my first impressions. I'm not really a reviewer per se, but uh, I like to tell people what I think of their comic after they get it. So I'll be right back with that. So I just got back from reading Inglorious Rex and I really enjoyed it. Um, the art, the characters, the world, uh, I was fully invested in everything. Um, the whole uh, cityscape and it's kind of like a neo not neo tokyo but like a cybernetic type city futuristic um landscapes and uh neon signs and stuff man i really dig all that so that was really cool to see uh you know the big arena and um how that world was like came alive at at nighttime and everybody was into this entertainment of the rex fighters and the book is told throughout it's like a um, setting up like a boxing match. It's it's all about the big fight and training and the motivation that Alex had um, going up against uh, the final combatant that he had uh, Ruin. And uh, yeah, it was it was a really cool story. Um, I like the characters. I like their motivations. Uh, Alex has a lot of heart, and you can see him build up through that. And he was just he stayed confident throughout and you could tell that light came through when it mattered at the end um especially during the final fight i like i like how that happened also i'm not gonna have any major spoiler spoilers or anything i will say i i did enjoy how the rexes uh, have this evolution type um aspect to them which they kind of like level up i guess the more they fight or the more they train they get they get stronger i don't know i don't know if that it shows up in their appearance or not but everyone says oh uh, this rex has evolved or to me it's like when you level up in a video game which i really enjoyed so yeah i'm looking forward to uh, inglorious rex 2 which is the sign up page is out now but by the time this video goes up it's probably going to be live so i'm going to have the link for inglorious rex 2 in, in the description below this video and you can get the first book which i highly recommend everybody get because it's it's just rad man uh besides the story the art is incredible the colors are incredible um the panel layout it's really dynamic even when you just get uh some exposition of what's going on there's always something in the art that makes you want to like look closer and you'll see more to this world as you as you um go from panel to panel or whatever uh the whole flow of the book really worked well also um it's kind of set up like a rocky movie to me it's like uh, training, uh, motivation, um, there's a bit of a montage in there, and then everybody's gearing up for the big fight at the end, so it was really cool. It started off with a really cool fight also. I really like this Rex. I found out her name is uh, Razor, which is really cool. That's Anatomic Rex, so I'm looking forward to see more of these characters, but yeah, give Inglorious Rex 2 a, a, a look, uh, and back the first book if you don't have it and definitely get the second book because this is a great franchise and i'm so glad to get on the ground floor of it uh great job uh shane davis great job to yanzu lin also um the book looked incredible it came very fast and uh, i'm just happy with everything the extras everything is great so yeah thanks a lot for checking out this video and uh hit subscribe and like on it and i'll check you guys later Bye bye